Good morning everyone, it's 8 o'clock on a Sunday and I'm here today to um, answer some of all the questions you guys have uh, um, been asking me in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, if I look a little bit tired it's because I almost just got out of bed um, and then I took a shower, put on some makeup and yeah, here I am with a cup of coffee and I am ready to do this. Now, some of you have been asking me if I could uh, try to pronounce my name, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, my name is Sine. I'm 26 years old and I live in the southern part of Denmark. I live um, about 60 kilometers from the German border. Um, and I live very close to my hometown. I was raised uh, just a little bit more south, uh, a little bit closer to the German border actually. Um, I was raised in a foster family and I also went to preschool down there. So no, I don't live in my hometown at the moment, but I live very close to it. I live in, in this wonderful house with my boyfriend. We've been together for close to eight years now. Um, and we, uh, we do talk a lot about marriage and kids, of course. I do dream of marriage, I actually didn't used to, but the last couple of years it's just been kind of creeping up on me. Um, and yeah, I, I just think there's something very romantic about getting married in a young age and before you get kids. So that's definitely something we talk a lot about and something I would really want. Now about kids, uh, we don't have a wish for many kids and I don't have a certain number. We've always been kind of like, let's just start with one and then see how that goes. I just recently started a new job and I'm really um, trying to settle into that. And it's very important to me, not that I'm more of a career person than I am a family person. I wouldn't say that I, that I am at all, but I've just been having trouble settling into the whole working full-time thing after you know studying for 14 years or whatever. I know for a fact that the reason why I have trouble settling into the to, to the whole working thing is probably because of my, my background and my, my childhood and I struggle a lot with insecurity and you know Luckily, I found a great place to work now, and I'm just really trying to focus um, on, on settling into that uh, work environment there um, and get more experience and more confidence and, and all that. So yeah, I definitely don't want kids before I feel like I'm mentally ready in that area. And I know many people say that you will actually never really get ready for kids. It's something you just have to jump into, and I definitely will at some point, but um, not, not at the moment, um, it will come when the, when the time's right. Now, speaking of kids, we, we don't have any kids, but we do have a cat and we have a puppy as well. You may have seen them in some of my previous videos. We have um, a puppy, he's, well, he's not so much a puppy anymore because he just turned one. Then we have a, we have a cat named Luna. She is 13 years old, so she's, she's an old lady. And we've had her for like seven years or something now. And yeah, she's just a big part of our little family. Yeah, and then a year ago we moved into our house and we really wanted a dog. So we adopted our little puppy, Oscar. And um, yeah, we've had him for about a year now and we've been, both been dreaming about, you know, getting a dog for as long as we can remember and I've always known that I would get a dog uh, before I got kids. So I guess that worked out pretty well for me. Yeah, that was just a little bit about my daily life and my um, uh, relationship and marriage and kids and all that. So now um, it's gonna get a little bit more personal. Someone asked me for my favorite music and books. And when it comes to books, I don't know if it's a crime to admit this, but I actually don't really read books. Um, I, I haven't read that many books in the past, and you know, I've always been sort of a dreamer, and I've always uh, spent a lot of time drawing and sewing and writing stories or songs or poems, and... Um, I know it sounds so cliche, but I've always kind of been, um, 
I've always loved to create things, um, to work with my mind in creative ways and to work with my hands. I do listen a great lot to sound books now because I have a little less than an hour from my home to work. But mostly I listen to biographies or books that are based on true stories or, you know, um, books that can help you with self-development. Um, I've always, like, been very interested in, in books that can give you something more than, you know, just um, a fictional story. Yeah, and I, in that same area I really love watching documentaries, especially music documentaries. Um, I recently watched one about the, the rock band Journey on uh, the Danish Netflix. Um, and I also really want to go see the, the new one about the Beatles. I think it's called Eight Days a Week. I'm not sure. So yeah, I, uh, I actually really love watching documentaries in, in general. I've always been very fascinated about other people's uh, stories. That leads me to uh, tell you guys a little bit more about my favorite music, which is very broad. I know people always say that, you know, I listen to anything, but I, I actually do. Yeah, I do listen to a lot of different music, uh, really, but my favorite music is by far uh, older music, especially from the 70s, 80s, um, and especially indie, indie rock and also classic rock music. I've gone in complete journey mode after I watched uh, the, the documentary about the band on Netflix. So I listen to Journey all the time at the moment. But I also love uh, rock bands like Jet and Motley Crue, Steelheart, uh, the Rolling Stones, Creed, Pearl Jam, Blink-182, and you know, I listen to all sorts of, of rock music. So I think this whole uh, love for rock music started back in high school and it's just kind of stuck with me ever since. I, I've listened so much to The Rolling Stones that I actually have a quote from one of their songs on my uh, arm. It's a quote from the song, you can't always get what you want, because I think that's just that's so true, you know, you can always get what you want, but you will get what you need in time. So some of you may know that I play music myself, so in general I really love exploring music and I, I love to, to um, I love listening to all sorts of, of music. Now some of you have also been very interested in hearing a little bit more about my lifestyle in Denmark and about living in Denmark in general. Um, I love living in Denmark. I've, uh, I've played with the thought of you know, living abroad and studying abroad or you know, working in another country, but Denmark is for sure my home and it's totally where I'm meant to be. I am so homebound here and I, I, this is truly where my, my heart belongs. I just love our nature, even though it's not very magnificent, it's not very you know, great or anything, but you'll just find so many beautiful and peaceful places here. In general, the weather is very great if you look at a whole year. You know, we have a lot of rainy days and in the summer we don't get a lot of sun. Um, this year the summer has arrived in September, which is weird if you ask me because I'm so ready for fall now but um, I know we shouldn't complain about that but it's just you know it's like it's getting it's getting pushed a little bit forward so um, yeah in summer it's it, it can rain quite a lot and in winter it also rains a lot we don't get a lot of snow either um, we haven't gotten snow um, really for the last couple of years so that's also kind of Kind of weird, and some of you have been asking me if it, if I would recommend uh, studying in a, in Denmark, and I would definitely say that Denmark is probably one of the best places in the world to study. And we have a great educational program that you can't really compare to to any, any other country. I think um, we can, you know, when you live here, you can study for free, and you also get paid. Uh, for studying, so I think we are way more privileged than that we we would like to, to admit to ourselves. Um, and then some of you asked me what I like the least and what I like most about living here, and that's just that's such a hard question to answer. But um, as, as much as I like uh, how down to earth and chill we are here in Denmark, um, 
that is also actually what can bring you down a little bit, if that makes sense. It's kind of a paradox, but um, many people here have a tendency to think that it's okay that you have high thoughts about yourself, but you can't think too much about yourself. Uh, I think it's cool to have high thoughts about yourself as long as you don't bring uh, other people down on your way up. So yeah, that's my, that's my belief. I can only speak for myself in all these questions about Denmark, so bear that in mind. But the lifestyle in Denmark is overall healthy, I think. I know a lot of people who um, eat healthy and exercise regularly. Um, the whole taking good care of um, your physical health and also your mental health is something that is very accepted in Denmark, I think. It's, it's something that's... Um, a lot of focus on you know all of the places I've been in my life uh, jobs and school and around friends and family it's okay to talk openly about mental issues uh, like anxiety or stress or you know all these kind of things it's no it's no longer so much a taboo to talk about and I think that's so great and in general just be good to yourself and you know, it's a lifestyle that I really appreciate.